Merry Christmas, guys! Welcome to another video, and this is exciting. Today, this is what I got for Christmas. The air was delayed from last year's Christmas is my new Nintendo Switch. This is how my, my Nintendo Switch looks like. Ta-da! This, I bought the, they got me the great unit. Well, I'm not complaining too much. Well, even though anyways I'm being the, the left pink and right green Joy-Cons. Well, alongside with that, they got me a game, which is Smash Bros. Ultimate. It recently just came out. I talked about it in game review, but I scrapped that serious, so. Yeah, that's next on the list. And it's got a little bit. Yeah, it's just covered in plastic, so. I'll get to the game right after we get the Switch, so. It has a two-tab enclosure, which they simplified it. No tape or adhesive needed. So, looking at the box. First, we got the Switch itself. You can see I'll get to the Switch now. There it is. The console itself. Yes. This is the console. It it does look like a tiny tablet to me. It's a lot smaller than my Wii U gamepad, especially with the uh, the Joy-Cons attached. And then next we got the Joy-Cons. These are in gray. So let me just get both of these baby god I mean let me get these guys out. So yeah, this Yep. They feel pretty good. Alright, so let's get that plastic out of the way. We can get what's under the system. Under all of that. So first of all we get an HDMI cable. Nothing too impressive. And then we have the AC adapter which plugs in to power the switch. Especially the dock, which I'll get to right now. But first we have the Joy-Con straps. Yeah, this is what they go into your Joy-Cons if you're using them separately. Yep. And they're little they're just little extensions. So they if you do not know, they just slide in into place like that. And that's what I prefer if I want if like for example I'm playing Joy-Cons detached. And then, yeah, this is all the crap that so you don't need to read. And then, under this foam is the Joy-Con grip. So, this is, you can turn your Joy-Con into, into an actual controller like this. Sometimes I slide the Joy-Cons in like everybody else does on a Nintendo Switch box unboxing anyways. As I slide it in. Mm, it makes them two little small controllers, which I prefer anyways. So. Last but not least, the dock. It's under these two... Yeah, first is bubble wrap and then this foam-like sheet. And there we go, this is how the dock. This is the dock. AC adapter, USB, and HDMI are in this thing. They are, are in, in inside. And you get two USB 2.0s and one USB 3.0 in the back. And this is where it plugs into your dock. Alright, let me get this mess out of the way and we'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and I'll show you guys the kickstand. How what it looks like. If you know what it means, you switch, you already get the idea. It's yeah, even though it's kind of weak sauce, so... So instead of breaking, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it did use a... Instead of popping... Yeah, it does pop pop off if you apply a little bit too, too much pressure. So thankfully, it goes back into place. So, yeah, even though it is kind of a weak sauce thing on the Switch. But, but this is for tabletop mode. And you can see, and then you can play a switch like this. And in my in my personal preference, my personal preference is to put, drop them onto the 
to the grip and I got a nice little portable gaming setup. And if you're ready in hand, handheld mode, you can just put the Joy-Cons onto the console itself. And there you go, you get the idea. And if you want to drop them for TV capabilities, drop it into the dock and it's going to include it into 1080p resolution. However, the built-in screen on the Switch is 720 though. However, the only downside I found the dock at the dock is that there's two... Let me get the Switch out of here. Is that there's two... There's two plastic stuff, whatever you call it. And it's going to end up scratching the Switch, which there's a lot of reports happened when, when they saw it scratch screens because the screen is made from plastic. So, yeah, I, I saw that from the Jerry Rig Everything video. So yeah, let's get the dock out of the way. Let's power this guy on. Oh look, you can even use the uh, the right stick though. All right. Just set all of that up. Internet settings. Yep. And yes, it has a touch screen, so. Alright, we are connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. so let me just select my time zone. We're in New York. And later, we can easily detect Joy Cons. Separately. All right. Next. More options. Basically, you got all this based off Nintendo characters, though. I wanted a Yoshi for now. With a green background. Well, you can also make a me as well. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I just got my me already up. So yeah, basically I just wanted my me to be the exact same as my other me's I did on some other Nintendo console with my 3DS. Anyways, back to tabletop mode. There we go. Or I can see. Okay. Wire me up. Perfect. Can I do that? I'll have to do it after it's just complete. It is complete. Okay, so on top of that. So yeah, basically I'll just put my S joint this back on. If I can end the video, that was it for today's. Yeah, I'll I'll end the video after I get Smash Bros. Ultimate unboxed. So covered in hard plastic. 
basically I need looks like I need scissors though for this. So here it is. It's just to slice through the plastic. Yes, I do have both versions of Smash 4, my Wii U version and the 3DS version. Yeah. Yes, since I have Smash Ultimate, there's no need to play those games anymore. Yeah, that's why my 3DS has Mario Kart 7 in it all the time. This is how what the cartridge looks like. It's so small. Oops. Okay, see. And, yep, it does smell good. And I knew these cartridges do taste awful when you put it in your tongue. Yeah, I wouldn't do that anyways. So, let go. We need to the game card slot. This. So, so. Oh, yeah. Oops, I just put it in the wrong way. Ah, oh, shut up. I'll be right back. And bow, there we go. Now I got the update installed, which is pretty stupid to me, but I have to so I can get Smash Bros. Ultimate. And here we go. So yes, system settings. So yeah, I'll go through the entire system settings in the review video next year. Yeah, I'll go black, because I'm I'm always into use dark things now. Just like I have dark mode on my uh, computer as well. Yeah, especially on the YouTube page, my uh, my Chrome browser, and so basically a lot of the stuff. I do you have a dark mode? So that's why I got those. So yeah. Anyways, that was it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and set my dock up. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Links to all the other stuff in the description. Join my Discord server. Join that too. See you in the next video. Goodbye for now.